imagine you have some kind of idea you want to have an overview of, but instead of having it on a piece of paper or, on stuff, or some point cloud on a computer, each time you get this idea you can write it down on a piece of paper and you walk around in a forest and you can just naturally put the idea on a tree. And each time you put a new idea on the tree, the, the branch, which the idea is on grows, and you have different groups of ideas and different trees, so in, over time you're going to get a natural forest filled up with all of your ideas. When I have to explain virtual reality for people, especially people who don't know that much about technology, I just say it's like dreaming with your eyes open. So you can experience everything you want uh, and be transported into every world you can imagine in every scenario, building a new reality around you and enabling you to do whatever you want. When people talk about virtual reality, augmented reality leading us into some kind of dystopia, I really think we're in the dystopia now. I think virtual reality and augmented reality is going to be a way out of this dystopia. If you look at a public square or in a bus or in a train, you're just going to find people looking down on their phones, having more or less the same experience that's just context on an endless roller where you just roll again and again and again and get new context. And that's just it. Like, so people are closed off. With virtual reality and augmented reality, you're going to have experiences where you actually look around and attack the real world. Even though the idea of virtual reality is making a natural having a natural connection with technology, it's still ideally a world where everything can happen. And you can even do it without the stupid and evil laws of physics that dominates our world. So in the real world here, I can only die once and I cannot fly. But in virtual reality, I would be able to do both. Right now, these glasses that I wear in public are super big and bulky. And of course, in the future, hopefully they're gonna be more sexy, Apple-designed-looking uh, small glasses that I can wear without people thinking too much about it. <laughs>